There is a function in Roblox Studio that allows us to check if something is blocking our camera from looking at a target. And this method doesn't have to deal with any ray casting. So what I have here is my main target here and I have two walls. I'm going to open up my output. There is nothing here, which means that nothing is being blocked uh, this target. I can see the green ball there. Nothing is blocking it. If I walk in front of this part, you will see in the output it starts to print the part. I go back out. It stops printing. I go to the second part and you see it prints part two. Even if I'm zoomed out, it's still blocking it. But if I look over, then it stops printing. So how we can actually do this without having to use ray casting is we are using the function inside the camera, a camera method called get parts obscuring target. And this function takes two arguments, cast points and an ignore list. So cast points is the parts in the 3D game space um, that we want to detect whether or not is being blocked off from the camera. So we could put in part positions, vector 3, uh, you know, all the positions in vector 3 stuff. Um, so we could say something like vector 3.new and put in a certain point there. And then the ignore list, which is you can uh, provide a table of parts that you want to just leave out from actually uh, getting the parts. So if a part is blocking the camera, but it's on the ignore list, then it wouldn't show up in our results. And if we add all this information, this gives us an array of base parts of blocking the camera. So we could say blocking parts would be equal to this, and blocking parts would be all the parts uh, blocking the target. This could be useful, for example, in horror games if you're in first person and you want to see whether or not entity can see you or not, uh, stuff like that, kind of like in doors, because doors uses ray casting or that kind of stuff. But you could also use this. So that's just one of the one of the examples you could use this function but how I actually made uh, what I made in the beginning of this video well let's get right into that now so what I have here is my target part and I have two parts here part one and part two very simple all anchored everything like that it's just simple three parts alright so to actually make this we need to get a few more variables so we obviously need the camera and we need our target that is in our game the green ball which is game.workspace wait for child targets and we might as well uh, we need to get our player which is game.players.local player and we also need to get the character from our player so player.character now I'm going to make the ignore list as I said previously that we can pass in an ignore list so I'm gonna say ignore list is equal to a new list and I or a new table I meant to say and we're gonna put in our character because we don't want to have our character, I mean the character will be blocking the view if we were in first person. So we would want to block this because you know our character is our character and it would get a little annoying in our results. And we're also going to put in our target because um, we're going to be putting in the target's position. So it will be looking at the target's object which will then make the target a blocking object if that makes any sense. Now that we've gotten all this, we are then going to check every uh, ever so often for blocking parts. So we're going to do this by using a while true do loop. You could use run service uh, loops too, but I'm just going to stick with while true do because I'm going to make it go every so often, like just a task dot wait heartbeat type thing. So we're just going to put task dot wait here at the end, and the first thing we're going to do is then get the blocking parts. So we're going to say blocking parts is equal to camera get parts obscuring target and we're going to put in our cast points which is a table so we're going to make a new table in here and we are going to first get our camera's position and then the target's position so two basically two cast points our camera's current position and then the target's position so this is really easy we can just say camera dot uh, c frame dot position comma and then we are going to say target dot position there are those cast points it's uh casting a i miss you could think of it as a ray from the camera to this position and then for our ignore list we are obviously just going to put in our ignore list just like this 
Now, I didn't do this in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to check if we actually have parts. So I'm going to say if blocking parts, which means there are uh, blocking parts, then we're going to uh, print all those. But then we can also say else, and we're going to print no parts blocking camera. So this will basically, it'll check if we have parts uh, blocking the camera. And if we do, then we're going to loop through all those and print them. Uh, else, if we don't, we're just going to print no parts blocking the camera. All right. So now we can loop through all these, which is four. I'm just going to say underscore comma parts in blocking parts do. And we're going to print the parts. All right, guys, I actually kind of messed up here because I'm saying if blocking parts and blocking parts will always be a thing, right? It'll always be an array. But this determines whether or not we actually have blocking parts in here because this will still be a table returning of parts but that table could be empty meaning no uh, parts are blocking the camera so to fix this we're going to say the number of blocking parts is greater than zero which then means we actually uh, have parts blocking it and then it'll work printing no parts blocking camera and we will see down here that there are no parts blocking the camera currently because I can see it right here. Now let me stand behind the first part and there we go. It prints the object that is blocking it. If I go over here, no parts blocking camera and I walk over here and then prints part two. And another thing I'd like to mention, guys, is you actually don't have to put the camera C frame, uh, the whole position thing here. You can just put target dot position. Now, I left this in here just for maybe beginners to this function. And I also like to think, all right, so the we're checking the camera to the target. So it's like a ray casting kind of line type of thing. But uh, it works the same if you guys do get rid of this and just put in target dot position. It'll work the same way. Now you guys might be wondering which is better, get parts obscuring target or ray casting. And to that I'd say I don't really know if there is much of a, a better choice, but there are some pros and cons to it. I'm not really sure on the performance side of stuff, but as far as get uh, parts obscuring target, it's a lot more convenient, right? It's You can check for multiple cast points in one function call. You know, that's a pro there. But a con of using this is you don't get the same detailed information as ray casting, right? Because if you cast an array, the ray cast would give us the material of whatever it touched or, you know, the position. And it gives us those five things that ray casting gives us while get parts of scaring target doesn't do this. So if you wanted more detailed information about where it touches or the parts and stuff like that, I would use ray casting instead of this function right here. But also ray casting, uh, needs more lines of code you need to put more information in more checks and stuff like that so keep those things in mind if you're deciding which one to use and yeah guys this was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace